Hello everybody and welcome to Transformed. Today I'm going to give you an information about one of our courses which is CPPS training course or Certified Professional in Patient Safety. The CPPS credential establishes patient safety competency standards and elevates the professional statures of healthcare professionals who meet knowledge requirements in safety science, human factors engineering, and the practice of safe care. This program is designed for healthcare professionals who work closely with patients and spend most of their time in taking care of patients. Patient safety is the most and last priority of any healthcare settings. CPPS credentials provides a way for employers to validate a potential candidate's patient safety knowledge and skill base, critical competencies for today's healthcare environment. CPPS course is designed to enhance the healthcare professional's ability to, to implement recent changes in the industry and offers practical guidance on implementing systems and processes to improve outcomes and advance patient safety. This course covers the full spectrum of patient safety and risk reduction from the fundamentals of the science of safety through a full discussion of operational issues and application of the principle of research. Real-life case studies from renowned healthcare organizations, it examines the newest scientific advances in the science of safety. CPPS puts greater emphasis on this practical side of patient safety with examples of team-based initiatives to show how patient safety can improve by changing practices, both cultural and technological, throughout whole organizations. What are the learning objectives of CPPS? First one is the evolution of patient safety, patient safety ground grounds, human error in healthcare, IOM elements of quality, dimensions of patient safety, leadership influence in managing patient safety, measuring safety, patient safety professional responsibilities, teamwork and communication, Creating and improving a culture of safety, rapid response teams, reporting and learning from errors, patient involvement in patient safety, setting standard and developing indicators, compliance monitoring systems, identifying improvement opportunities, using teamwork in patient safety, SBAR or Situation Background Assessment and Recommendation, RCA methodologies, FMEA and ethical issues in patient safety. The certification body for CPPS is Certification Board of Professional in Patient Safety. For the examination details, first one is examination fees. For members, the examination fee will be $295 and for non-members is $400. For the examination content, there is 110 multiple choices questions in the CPPS exam. 100 are scored and 10 for pretest or not scored. And there are three types of questions on the exam. First one is recall, the ability to recall or recognize specific information. Second one is application, the ability to comprehend, relate, or apply knowledge to new or changing situations. And the third one is analysis, the ability to analyze and synthesize information, determine solutions, and or evaluate the usefulness of a solution. Only a small percentage of the exam questions are categorized as recall. The rest are divided between application and analysis. For scoring the examination, CBPPS uses a criterion reference methodology in scoring the certification examination. With this type of scoring methodology, there is no curve, and candidates do not compete against one another. Instead, candidate performance is compared to the criterion of acceptable practice of a qualified patient safety professional. The passing score for the examination is determined by using a process known as the ANG-OFF method in which experts in the field estimate the difficulty of each item on the examination for the minimally qualified candidate. These judgments are averaged to determine the minimum passing score 
which represents the amount of knowledge a minimally qualified candidate would likely demonstrate on the examination. A statistical process called equating is used to adjust for the slight variation in difficulty that can occur among multiple test forms. These steps help ensure that all candidates are held to the same standard of performance. The examination is available in a computerized format on a daily basis at PSI test centers across the United States and internationally. For registering for an examination, Online, you may register online by going to www.goamp.com and selecting candidates. The computer will guide you through the process. After application information and credit card payment have been submitted, you will be prompted to schedule an examination appointment or to supply additional eligibility information. Who should consider certification? Physicians. Patient safety professionals, nurses, quality and risk management professionals, pharmacists, healthcare executives, non-clinical healthcare professionals, and all healthcare professionals with a requisite background. Requirements for the certification. Candidates for the CPPS credentials are those who include patient safety processes as an integral component of current or future professional responsibilities. Candidates must also possess academic and professional experience at one of the following levels. Bachelor degree or higher, plus three years of experience, includes time spent in clinical rotations and residency programs in a healthcare settings or with a provider of services to the healthcare industry. Or, associate degree or equivalent plus five years of experience includes time spent in clinical rotations in a healthcare settings or with a provider of services to the healthcare industry. For recertification, following successful completion of a CPPS examination, the certificate is required to maintain certification by fulfilling continuing education requirements or through successful retests. Recertification cycle is for three years. If you think that I have missed something, you may contact us at plus 971-0439-33233 or WhatsApp us at plus 971-561-768927 or send us an email at quality at transfito.com or info at transfito.com. You may also visit our website www.transfito.com. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel and ring the notification bell to be updated to our promotions.